Moscow will win the space war before it begins. And its defense system will shoot down America's satellites and intercontinental missiles. This is how Russia describes its S-500 air defense system. It has been dubbed Prometheus, or the Greek word for war machine, and Russia describes it as the weapon that will clip the United States nails and surpass all defense standards in force to date. Let's get to know Russia's supersonic S-500 system. The Arab Defense Newspaper Headline What do we know about the new Russian S-500 Prometheus system? With Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu announcing that the Russian military will soon begin receiving and deploying the S-500 Prometheus long-range defense system this year, many observers are wondering about the capabilities and advantages of this system compared to its predecessors, the S-400 and S-300. The S-500 system is a new generation of Russian air defense systems, classified by Russia as a fifth-generation missile system, designed to intercept intercontinental ballistic missiles. According to Russian sources, it will also significantly enhance the Russian military's ability to intercept hypersonic missiles traveling at speeds up to Mach 10. The transfer of this unique air defense system to the Russian military was first announced in September 2021, once its tests were officially completed. According to Russian media, an S-500 brigade was on combat duty near Moscow. Three years ago, Russia also announced that the state-owned Almazanti company, which is developing the S-500 systems, had been awarded a contract for 10 such systems, with delivery scheduled to begin in the first half of 2022. It is worth noting that all developments in the early 2000s in the Russian Federation are based on developments made by the Soviet Union in the 1980s. Despite this, work on the S-500 system has been continually delayed. The plan was to begin testing in 2010 and complete it by 2015, begin serial production in 2014, and complete delivery of 10 systems by 2020. However, it was decided to postpone this for 10 years. It should be noted that the S-500 is not a new system, but rather the result of further development of the Soviet S-300V and S-400 systems. If we look at the missiles for the S-500 system, we can see the 40N6M missile from the S-400 system, as well as the new 77N6N missile, a version of the 9M82 missile from the S-300V system, but with a more powerful first stage. The 40N6 mission is to shoot down aerodynamic targets. However, to use it at a range of 380 kilometers, it is necessary to use a 50 airborne early warning and control aircraft. The 77N6N's mission is to combat ballistic missiles with a range of 500 to 600 kilometers. However, the 9M82's main drawback as an anti-missile system is that it lacks a kinetic interception capability, only a close-range burst capability. These technologies are similar to the GMT missile used with the American Patriot Pac-2 system. Russia claims that the S-500 system can intercept targets in space, but this has been questioned even within Russia, as the 77N6N's aerodynamic rudders indicate that interception outside the atmosphere is impossible. More importantly, the S-500's description states that its mission is to intercept ballistic missiles in their terminal phase, i.e., in the atmosphere. As for radars, the 91N6 version of the S-400 system was supplemented by the 60K-6 long-range surveillance station, the 77T6ABM engagement radar, and the 76T6 multi-mode engagement radar for an unspecified purpose. However, it is stated that it must operate in the X-band. The possibility of simultaneously engaging 10 ballistic targets has also been announced. The S-500 system is a Russian attempt to develop a system similar to the American THAAD system. In addition to the S-500, there is another air defense system, the S-550, which is expected to specialize exclusively in missile defense. 
It was announced in 2021 and is expected to enter service by 2025. Russia Today Headline What is the S-500 system that the Russian Defense Minister announced would enter service with the military? It is worth noting that the S-500, Promete, is capable of destroying both aerodynamic and ballistic targets, including medium-range missiles, intercontinental ballistic missiles, hypersonic cruise missiles, low-Earth orbit missiles, satellites, strike drones, and enemy strategic aircraft. The system can detect targets at a distance of 800 kilometers. It has a range of 600 kilometers at an altitude of up to 250 kilometers. Experts are also convinced that the S-500, Promete, is capable of shooting down small meteorites that could pose a threat to civilians and ground infrastructure. However, the system is not without its weaknesses. Andre Frolov, editor-in-chief of the Arms Export magazine, stated that the system needs to be protected by small and medium-range air defense systems, such as the Buk, Tor, and Panzer, otherwise it could be targeted by simple enemy attack vehicles. The system consists of a command center, an anti-missile section with anti-missile and long-range radar systems, and an anti-aircraft section with radar missiles. It is mounted on wheeled platforms and can also be transported by military transport aircraft. The S-500 system consists of two modules, one for anti-missile and one for anti-aircraft. The anti-aircraft system operates against virtually all types of flying objects, and its range of missions is broader than that of the S-400 system. Its range is up to 600 kilometers, while the S-400's range is shorter, at 400 kilometers. The anti-missile system is capable of engaging hypersonic targets and targets in near space, a feat unmatched by any mobile missile system in the world. It can also simultaneously engage up to 10 ballistic targets. The S-500 system is a robotic complex equipped with artificial intelligence that can autonomously identify and distinguish between friend and foe targets, select the most dangerous target and missile type, and launch it. All of this is done under human control. However, these tasks can also be performed manually by an operator. According to the expert, autonomous mission execution is essential because hypersonic targets fly at such an extreme speed that humans cannot track them. This system is also capable of protecting the entire country. This means that an air defense umbrella can be created that reliably covers a number of locations. He says, the S-500 system could be a major upgrade compared to the S-400, S-350 Vityas, S-300, and Panzer Complex. The S-500's greatest value lies in its anti-missile capabilities. It can be deployed primarily to cover cities with populations of more than 1 million and important military and administrative facilities. It can also provide the necessary protection for key sites. In other words, it can form a comprehensive air defense missile system covering the entire country. The expert adds that for the United States to develop a system similar to the S-500, it would need to combine several missile systems. He says, for the system to operate at the same level against aerodynamic and ballistic targets, the Americans must link either the Aegis Ashore ground-based system with the Patriot system, or the THAAD system with the Patriot system. This is very expensive and inefficient, because the THAAD system only operates in a specific sector. To change the sector of fire, the direction of fire must be changed to the correct direction. He adds, the S-500 system can be deployed within a few minutes, an important advantage for anti-aircraft missile systems, which can also detect the missile system's location within a few minutes. Therefore, the system must be able to leave its location within five minutes, Otherwise its location and the surrounding area will be subject to intense bombardment. Sky News Arabia headlined. Hunting targets in space. What are the specifications of the Russian S-500? 
What are the specifications of this system? And why does it raise concerns for Washington and the West in general? The Russian Ministry of Defense describes the S-500 system as unparalleled in the world and designed to defeat the full spectrum of existing and emerging air attack weapons. According to a statement issued by the ministry following the successful test launch a few days ago, the anti-aircraft missile system is believed to be one of the most cost-effective means of countering high-speed hypersonic missiles. Direct Threats while the West lags behind Russia in developing such weapons, they are expected to pose a growing threat to countries outside the Western sphere of influence, according to a report published by Military Watch magazine, a website specializing in military affairs. The report also spoke of the system's superiority over American hypersonic aircraft such as the State Route 72. According to the report, the S-500 system tested by targeting a missile a high-speed ballistic missile, its entry into service was delayed for more than four years due to the increasingly ambitious system specifications required to counter emerging airborne threats and hypersonic weapons. According to the website, the system is unique to Russia and is not a derivative of any previous generation of Russian weapon systems. Despite some initial speculation, it has been confirmed that it will not replace the A-135 ballistic missile system or the S-400 air defense system. Speed and Range While most of the technical specifications of the S-500 system are shrouded in secrecy, the available information relates to its destructive capabilities and the targets it can engage. The system is capable of destroying 10 targets at a speed of 7 km per second, at an altitude of 100 kilometers, and has a target range of up to 600 kilometers. In 2020, Sergei Babakov, commander of the Russian Air Force's Air Defense Forces, stated that the S-500 system was unparalleled in the world, given that modern air defense systems are capable of combating only one or two types of targets, at most. However, the modern Russian system is capable of combating many more, including shooting down intercontinental ballistic missiles. The S-500 can target cruise missiles, ballistic missiles, operational tactical missiles, near-space missiles, helicopters, AWACS aircraft, drones, and high-altitude aircraft. It can also target satellites in low orbit, in addition to orbital platforms in space and hypersonic missiles. According to a report previously published by the National Interest, it can also interfere.